Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all how to do a hand painted reverse leopard ombre. So this is going to be really pretty. I keep seeing it on Pinterest. Like I don't even have to search for tumblers or anything like that. I could just be like scrolling and I've seen it like six times and I'm like, okay, I get it. Like I'll make it. Don't twist my arm. I'll make it. So I'm really excited to make it. I'm using a 20 ounce from Maker Flow Crafts. I spray painted the top of it gold instead of the bottom. So the top is gold and the bottom is white. For the glitters, let me see, where is it? The white I am using Golf Sands from the Glitter Grind and the gold is Desert Glow from the Glitter Grind. Both very pretty colors, both are gonna look great on this tumbler. So let's get started. Also, please don't come at me for my boxes in the background. I know, I know, I know. I'll get it taken care of, I promise. My husband is always the one that takes care of the boxes and he's been working his butt off this week, so. I'll get it taken care of eventually. Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge and my makeup brush, and I am just putting on a good healthy coat all over it. And every time I use this metallic paint for some reason, the Mod Podge like separates from it, and it's really super weird. I don't understand why. Maybe it's just a different texture than my other paints. I don't know, but it happens. So keep getting globs of Mod Podge. So starting with Desert Glow, I'm going to cover a couple inches or so of the top and then I'm going to tilt my tumbler downward and just very lightly tap and let the gold just fall very gently and this is going to create a natural ombre look. I love doing my ombres this way. I used to do, I used to do the tea strainer method. And if you do that, that's totally fine. But I, once I found this method, I was like, okay, this works better for me. Tap all that glitter off there. And put this back in my shaker jar. And then we will move on to the white. And I'm just going to do the exact same method that I just did with my white glitter. Just doing it on the bottom and tilting in the opposite direction. So now you have a quick and easy ombre. So now we have this really nice ombre. I'm going to let this sit just to let the Mod Podge dry. Just about five minutes is all it's gonna take. And then I'm gonna take it outside, spray it a couple times with two times Rust-Oleum Clear, and then come back and do the leopard spots. So now this is sealed, ready to go. What I'm gonna use for the cheetah spots or leopard spots, or I don't know, I get them confused. Um, this is Chocolate Kiss, and this one is Cosmic Carbon. These are both Maker Flow Crafts glitter. So I pulled them from my shelf. I figured they would be perfect for this. I am using Mod Podge again and a very small paintbrush. And I'm going to do all of the insides of the um, spots first. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge on my brush and pretty much just do like random, I don't want to say globs, but I mean it's pretty much what they are. Don't make them perfect circles. Um, just randomly put it on there like so. Let me do like one more. And now I'm going to take that brown glitter. Wow, I have not even opened it yet. I do that every time. Now I'm going to take the brown glitter and sprinkle it over all of the Mod Podge I just put on, like so, and just keep on doing that until I'm happy with what I got.
Okay, so now that all of the insides of the spots are done, now it's time to do the outside. And this is the Cosmic Carbon from Maker Flow. And I am just using the same brush, going in with Mod Podge, but I'm trying to do this very, very like thin and just dab an outline around like just a small part. Trying to keep it not like super globby. And I'm only doing, I'm not outlining the entire thing. I'm only doing like half or something like that. And then sprinkle your back black glitter And there you have your cheetah spots. Okay, so that is super easy and that's literally it. I'm going to let this dry for um, a few minutes just like the first layer and then spray it twice with Rust-Oleum Clear, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups and then I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys the results. So now the next day and this is very simple but elegant and I think it's very pretty. So aside from maybe sanding it down and adding just one more coat of epoxy, this is done. It was a very simple, easy, but beautiful design and I really hope you guys like it too. Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is, a number two pencil and a dream can take you anywhere. And that was said by Joyce Meyer. That's all I have for y'all today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it for y'all. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!